This video is a Nitro 101. I'm going to talk about some of the basics for tuning and troubleshooting Nitro engines. Idle needle. The idle needle adjustments will adjust your idle. And if you look from the top, so imagine this is where your air cleaner goes in. So this is where the air comes in. The idle needle is the one that goes in at an angle. Uh, so when it goes in at an angle, there'll be an adjustment off to the side and this will be angled. And what this does is, this limits how much this can travel. Now, if you're idling too high, you want to back this out. So this is the part that you back out, and this will generally decrease your idle. Now on a Traxxas 3.3 engine, uh, generally it should be about 0.8 millimeters. It can be a little more, it can be a little less, uh, it depends on ambient temperature, a barometric pressure and a lot of other small little things but generally you're looking at about 0.8 millimeters uh, sometimes 0 0.7 0 0.9 somewhere around there now when this happens uh, you will have you should have a good idle assuming all other settings are correct it is possible for example for the idle screw to be backed out so far out that it no longer holds this in place and this is limited mechanically by the section so generally your linkage and your arm would be over here on this side and that's what would move this in and out this is on a slide carburetor uh, there are rotary carburetors but again because we're using the trx engine it's a slide carburetor uh, at this point if this screw is backed up all the way uh, and it's still idling too high, then what you need to look at is your low end needle. So your idle screw and your low end needle can both affect the idle of the engine. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Please subscribe. Oh, 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 oh,